This is day 22 of It's My Life 365. I'm on Illa Bubak, which is a cool little place. I'm gonna try to rent a bicycle today and maybe uh, and cruise across the island to, a, to what I hear is a pretty nice beach and maybe check out some villages along the way. So let's go do this. Day 22, It's My Life 365. My name is Brendan Vanson and I live a very privileged life. Wild Pacific Trail, Vancouver Island. And we got it to ourselves. As a travel writer photographer, I think I live a pretty incredible life. So why not get it on film? This is it. It's my life, 365. I am waiting now for, for a bike to arrive, but um, they're saying that it might be a little while. I'm starting to get a little bit nervous because there's some massive storm clouds building on the horizon. So hopefully I don't get stuck out there in the rain with all my camera gear. I waited like two hours for this, but for this bike to show up, and it didn't, it didn't come. So I'm just gonna go for a walk for about half an hour and see what we see. Then hopefully the bike will be back. So let's go wander. Since it's the rainy season, it's definitely a little bit harder to travel around, around the region. Basically, I only have a couple hours every day where there's sunlight and it's not pouring rain to do whatever it is I want to be doing. So it's, it's a little bit of a challenge, to be honest. But on the bright side, there's definitely no other tourists here. Uh, there's definitely the infrastructure put up here. There's loads of hotels, loads of restaurants, but I haven't seen any other tourists. I'm the only one I've seen so far. And yeah. The rains have already started to come in which is really frustrating because I really only have one day on the island. With there being no boat on, on the first day I tried, and then the fact that I have to get my visa for Guinea, uh, for, just for Guinea, in Guinea-Bissau, um, during the week, I really have to leave tomorrow. I could maybe spend another day, but I'd be pushing it. So, yeah, a little bit frustrating. I'm headed back to the hotel. I'll maybe try to find an internet cafe and get some work done while the rains happen, so. Yeah, a little bit of a frustrating. So right when it looked like the day was lost, the bike showed up, the rain stopped. I'm gonna try to get to this this beach, which is about a 35 kilometer round trip on the bike. I'm gonna put the helmet mount, or I guess just the head mount on uh, on the GoPro, so I'll take you with me. So this might be the most uncomfortable bike seat I've ever been on in my life. It's horrendous. My ass hurts so much. Anyways, I'm here in the, the palm forest now. This area produces a lot of, of palm oil. So I've seen a couple of people out working in the fields and I've been told there's some villages coming up. So let's go check this out. So something just happened on my bike. I have no idea what it was, but it completely came to a stop. I think something lodged in there and I went flying over the handlebars onto this hard ground. I'm bleeding pretty bad, probably on my shoulders as well and I'm covered in dirt. I don't know what I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna continue or if I'm gonna bring this bike back. Yeah, ah oh, man, that hurt. I'm not really sure what happened there. The bike just locked up on me and then I went flying over the handlebars and the bike stayed still, but it really, really hurt. I tried to continue a little bit, but it was stinging and I figured I better clean out the wounds so they don't get affected, infected. So I came back, on the way a local girl helped me out with some puddle water, cleaned me off a little bit. So 
I'm feeling a little bit better, but this definitely wasn't that much fun. I must have hit my head a little bit harder than I thought on that crash because I've just had a pounding headache all afternoon. So I've just been taking it easy trying to recover from this one. So that deal definitely go down in history as one of the shitty days. I feel like Guinea-Bissau so far has just been kicking my ass and I really don't like it when, when it feels like a country is getting the best of me. I like kind of, you know, leaving a country and thinking, you know, I got the best from my experience there. And right now I just feel like wiped out. So... Anyways, tomorrow they say there's a Piroc, another one of those canoe boats, back to the mainland at 1 p.m. So hopefully I can leave the island and head back to the mainland and start making my way towards Guinea. This has been day 22 of It's My Life 365. I'll see you tomorrow.